The Meta Baron series is an Inkel spin-off which tells and shows us the ancestors of the recent Meta Baron. It encompasses five to six generations of this fierce family of fighters slash mercenaries. Their story is divided in eight parts which build up this family saga. The beautiful German edition by Splitter collected it in four double volumes, each one of them devoted mainly to one pair of ancestors. But the Meta Barons is not just epic in terms of scope, but also in terms of the tone. The ideals and decisions of the protagonists are often archaic, rigid and committed to moralistic codes that feel more than outworn to us. So it's sometimes difficult to relate to the characters. Even though we can figure that within the scope of their moralistic beliefs it totally makes sense to maim your child, to kill worlds, to purge your honor, to face death happily because you serve the rules of the family and all that stuff. But we always have these episodes in our own history where the rules of the game of some societies are pretty similar, don't we? We don't have to go back to the Spartans who threw the weaker children allegedly into a canyon in the uh, Taigetos Mountains. But it feels exactly like that, like an antique tragedy, like a new Gilgamesh epos or something like that. But in space, of course. So, the lives we witness here are literally heavily laden with their fate, their beliefs, or the loss of their beliefs, their ambitions, their greed, their sexual appetite. Light-hearted, it's not. There's not much middle ground in the lives of the ancestors. Either there is unbelievable pain or pure sublime bliss. Yeah, sometimes. But it's seldomly real joy or relaxed well-being. In nearly every volume there is some castration, some incest or other stuff you may not want to read to your little kids as a lullaby or a good night story. Jodorowsky obviously is obsessed with that kind of stuff and he's the first to admit this in the big bonus parts of the books. His obsessions um, for or especially his obsession for incestuous relationships, for an example, roots in his admiration for his own sister, which serves as the model for the Metabaron's great-great-mother or grand-great-mother. Needless to say <clears throat> that a story like this can easily collapse under its own weight. Unrelatable characters that act in, in annoying ways are usually not the ones we want to spend a lot of time with. But surprisingly, The Meta Barons is one of the best comic series in the Yodoverse, in my opinion. It is very compelling and there are some reasons why. A. The Meta Barons is very cleverly linked to the world of the Inca, so when you've read or you've read the Inkal, you get a lot of easter eggs and more so. Jodorowsky establishes a pair of robots from the Inkal as the props for the frame narration and a comic relief as well. So the to and fro between these C3PO and 3-2-D2 like characters delivers the much-needed breath between the big with fate waves of heavy plot. B. Jodorowsky never fails to amaze us with, this, with his overboarding fantasy. One of my favorites are these cyborg whales which serve as giant spaceships. They are piloted by horror nuns. Yeah, horror nuns. One old, one young, one in the middle. 
as in the three norns, the personifications of the fate, that play a big part, for an example, in Neil Gaiman's Sandman as well. And C, last but absolutely not least, Juan Gimenez's art is super is superb as always. In my opinion, even better. The way he designs little props or big weapons, spacesuits and ships always feels real. It's a totally homogeneous world, despite of all the completely out there stuff in it. In parts, it's almost an art book, especially when you focus on his watercolors and all the meticulous details. The way he paints humans is maybe something you have to get used to, but in the context of the world of the Metaburns, it's a perfect fit to depict the contrast between the cold metal tech stuff and the soft, vulnerable flesh of the humans. So, bottom line. The Meta Barons is a very ambitious, very dense, beautifully illustrated space opera. Maybe the best work from Jimenez and the second best from Yodo, after the original Inkel, of course. Inkal, of course. Thanks for listening and watching. Goodbye.